You know, I tell you guys, the real estate is savage. Uh, and it is. Real estate investment is a savage game. You run into stuff you wouldn't expect to run into. For instance, you would think you'd never see penises in the real estate game, but that would be incorrect. I've actually experienced full frontal male nudity twice in my real estate career. The first time, uh, I had a California client. He just randomly texted me a picture of his penis in the middle of the afternoon on like a Tuesday. I texted him a question mark. Uh, hey, man, why'd you text me a picture of your penis? He says, oh, man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was actually supposed to go to my wife. My apologies. I assume perhaps her name is Jane or something similar to Jane's, and she was right above or below me in his contact list. So that was the first penis I was uh, exposed to in this game. The second time I saw a penis, this was actually live. So this was not a picture of a penis. This was me and the penis in the same room. I was uh, inspecting a four-unit apartment building. I was with the seller and his adult son. And me and the adult son were in the front of the building, going over the building. The father, he was in the back. So I go in the back to meet the father. He's in the garage. I walk in the garage. I'm looking at my phone. I look up. Boom! Full penis. He's just peeing right in the middle of this garage in the middle of the afternoon. And he looks at me, and he's like, why are you looking at my penis? I'm like, why is your penis out in the middle of the afternoon? He's like, I'm pissing here. I'm like, well, most people would pee on the back of the garage. You, on the other hand, are just pissing in the middle of your garage in the middle of the afternoon, man. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And that is my experience with full frontal male nudity in the real estate investment field. Remember that time we filmed the video where I told you the story about how I saw the guy's penis? It's that house right there.